Start with uh, this weight. Yep, and just curl. Good. Go. Good. Two. Three. Oh, four. Four. One more, one more. Good. Put, put it right on, on the bench. Okay. So we're gonna we're shoulders back a little bit. There you go. Good. Good. Get that mind muscle connection going. Good. Curl. Good. Keep going, two more, two more, two more, two more. Good, one more. Nice and slow on the way down. Good partials, three partials on the way up. Go, one, go. Two, one more. Three, good job. Okay guys, so we're doing 30 second FSC seven preloads. We're on our third set, 30 seconds of rest. Let's go. Good, good, all the way up. Pause, pause, right there. Good, three more like that, go. Good, good, good. All the way up, hold it, good, one more. Hold it, five seconds, four, three, two. Good job, good, 30 seconds rest, good, good. All right guys, we're doing an FSC7 arm workout. We're starting off with cambered curls. We're doing FSC 7, 30 second rest in between sets. We're gonna get that mind-muscle connection. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on making sure that we create that tension and pause at the very top. So we're gonna throw those in and to increase intensity even further, we're gonna do some partials off the bottom at the very end of the set as well. Let's go. Good. Come on. There you go. Good. Good. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now partial. Give me three partials. One. Two. One more. One more. Good job. Racket. Okay. So again, this is an FSC7 preload. So that means we're doing for the very first exercise, FSC7 set. Only 30 seconds of rest. We're doing an intensity multiplier by doing, not only doing partials off the bottom, but the following set, we're gonna do some pauses at the top. Then at the very end, we're gonna throw in some static holds and some actual flexing. So we're gonna do those FSC7 flex sets. He used to do those for the FSC7 app about yeah. two and a half years ago. Yeah, two and a half years ago. Two and ago. a half, maybe three almost. Hand off the UDD. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's about, what, 25 pounds? I think like 30 pounds heavier. 30 pounds yeah. heavier. Yeah. That's it. I mean, you're growing. Thank you're definitely you. growing. That's that or, you, or yeah. you just, uh, it's your older brother. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Two. Three. Okay, pause, stop. Oh, wait. Hold it right there. Hold it. Three, two, one, down. Up like that again. Up. Hold it. Three, two, one. That's it. Now partials off the bottom. Go. One. Right there. Good. Get your shoulders back. Two. Oh, yeah. That's it. Good. And don't worry about cheating a little bit at the very end when you have to do those partials. Okay. It's going to be really hard. Let's go ahead and do a front double bicep. Let's go. Okay. Hold that, hold that, five seconds. Good. 
Good, relax. Oh. Catch your breath. Oh, wow. How's that pump? Oh, insane. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not typing on a computer anytime soon, bro. <laughs> good, good, good. Take a sip here, and then we're gonna go right into that next set. Take a sip. All right. All right, let's go ahead and go hammer. We're gonna do this hammer style. Yep. Okay, go. Good. Chest up a little higher. Let's bring, let's bring the seat up. It's a little bit low. There you go. There you go. Okay. Okay, good. Good. Two. Three. Nine. Three partials. Three, three. One. Two. Good job. Three. Okay. Oh, wow. All right, guys. So you guys have seen me do this for the last 20 plus years, 25 oh. years. Hammer, I mean, um, spider curls. Now we're using a actual hammer grip. So we're going to be able to work on that outer bicep as well as the upper forearm. Not only is this going to help you with overall arm development, but what it's going to do is it's going to create some variation. And that variation is going to help you break those plateaus. Because if you keep doing the same angles that everybody likes to do, you're not going to be able to actually grow into whether it's a show or an off season. You need to be able to break things up and be able to give your body new stimuli. Wow. Some heavy 25s. <laughs> <laughs> the heaviest 25s. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh. Good. Two. Nine. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Good. One more. Good job. Control up, good. Lift your elbows forward a little bit. Good, that's it. Focus, good. Focus, good. Focus, drive, good. Right there, go. Good. Good. Good, keep those elbows forward a little bit. That's it. Keep going, last set, two more. One more. Okay. All right. Awesome. All right. So what makes this so important using a bench and doing spider curls is the fact that you minimize momentum. And when you minimize momentum, it allows you to really keep that time under tension on the biceps. You might even want to bring your elbows slightly forward to keep that tension even longer. So again, change up the variation of grip. You can use a straight bar, you can use a cambered bar, and you can use dumbbells, both palms forward as well as the hammer position. So try to get that overall arm development in all the different angles. Good, good, good. Good, good. Uh. Drive. Good. Turn that wrist. Good. Turn the wrist. Good. So you want to work on that outer. Let's go. Turn that wrist. Good. Good. Good warm up. Good. Always remember to warm up your elbows. Make sure you do at least a couple of warm up sets to be able to really get that elbow warmed up. So you're not going to want to go straight to the heavy weights because that's what you're going to do is risk injury by doing straight to the heavy weights. Do two to three extra sets in the very beginning of the workout so that you can warm up your triceps, warm up the elbows, warm up, and if you have to, even warm up your shoulders. Go ahead and do some light dumbbell work, do some band work, do some uh, rotator cuff work, whatever you need to do to be able to get really warmed up because you won't want to get hurt when you start lifting the heavier weights. Three. Oh. 
<sighs> one more, one more, one more. All right, good job. Awesome, awesome. Wow. Now we're gonna start picking up a little bit more weight. We're gonna be able to do is really continue to keep focusing on not using momentum. So we're gonna be able to bump it up just a little bit more, about 20 more pounds for the next step. Two. Three. Five. Six. Come on. Go, turn, turn the wrist. Turn the wrist. This is where you really be able to work that outer tricep. He needs extra work on that outer tricep. His bicep's amazing. But that outer tricep, it's gonna give him width on that arm. He needs to turn his wrist out. That's it. Turn that wrist out. Turn that wrist out. Turn that wrist out. Even more, even more. Good, lower the weight. We're gonna work on that. Go, I want you to really turn all the way out. That's it, even more. Slow down, don't swing. Turn it, hold it that way. Okay, you feel that? Yeah. Go, good. Go, go. Good. Three. Come on. Turn, turn. Good. Last one. Good turn. Good job. That's it. All right. So, one of his biggest weak points of his arms are that outer tricep. So, what you'd be able to need to work on to be able to really get that to activate is turning of the wrist. You gotta turn that wrist out if you want that outer tricep to activate. So that's what we're gonna work on. That was a great set. You'd be able to really focus on that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flex a little bit and we're gonna pose that so he gets an even better mind-muscle connection. Go ahead and do a side tricep, just bring it down. That's it, right in there. You see that? So super developed bicep, still the back of his tricep, amazing. It's that side tricep that we really need to work on and that's where you gotta turn that wrist out. Good. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Good, other side. Oh. Good, 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 good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now, again, that mind-muscle connection is gonna really hit hard. Turn that wrist out, flex it between sets. The other thing I wanna talk about, he's got a little bit of acne rolling. We're gonna talk about that on the podcast about how you can prevent that or also be able to actually just how to take care of that when it does flare up. Because I get that question a lot, haven't been able to answer that in a while, so I want to do, I do want to bring that up during my podcast, so you're gonna check that out, so I can, we can talk a little bit yeah, about that. Yeah, of course. Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> would that help Dude. out? Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. <laughs> okay, all right, so we're gonna go a little bit about whether it's back knee, whether it's on your shoulders, whatever, we're gonna go ahead and talk about a lot of those things that you can do for preventative treatment, as well as being able to deal with those flare-ups. <sighs> Squeeze, good. Control, good, stretch and pull. Good. The key to this is you gotta stretch it all the way and pull, there you go. Stretch, good, good contraction at the very top. Now you can use either a straight bar or a slight curled camber bar. Squeeze, good. Because we did camber earlier, we're doing straight. Good, two more, good. Good, good, good. Pull. Good, one more. Now I want you to hold it. Five seconds. Four. Come on. Three. Two. Good, now partials. Give me three partials off the bottom. One. Two, one more. Excellent, good job. All right, we're only doing two sets because his arms are already just completely wow. annihilated from the last two exercises. Now we're gonna do one more set. We wanna take it to complete failure and then finish out with triceps. Wow. Is your second arm workout of the year? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I barely train arms anymore. Yeah, yeah because I your arms are getting too crazy. Else. Well, no, you, it's good. You can train a little bit and then you get your rest of your body to grow into it. Yeah, <laughs> true, yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to look at it. Oh. Good, come on. Good, let's finish. One. Good. We're gonna go to complete failure on this one. Good. Uh, Good. You feeling that contraction? Yeah. Good. Uh, Good. Squeeze. Uh, Good. Uh, Good. Control. Uh, Good. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Uh, Five. Four. Come on, Devin. Come on. Three. 
Monster arms. Ugh. There you go. Ugh. Now I want you to slow pause it up to the top. Ugh. Go, go, Ugh. a little further, a little more. Right there, now hold that. Hold that, hold that. Ugh. 10 seconds. Ugh. Six, Ugh. five, Ugh. four. Slowly come down, slowly. Hold every uh, angle uh, of that uh, eccentric. Now up, uh, all the way up. Uh, Lean into it. Slow. Uh, Five, four, three, two. Uh, last one. Go. Hold it. Hold it right there. Five, four, three, two. Straighten it out now. All the way. That's it. Good job. That's it. Hit it for double. Right there. Boom. Turn those wrists. That's it. You get a little bit of that, that split. Normally you don't get those until you're super, super lean. But because he's so genetically blessed with some really good peaks, you actually can see him even when super pumped up. Good job. Oh, wow. Good job. Good. Turn it out. That's it. All the way. Turn it out. Good. Single pull. Good. Good, turn, turn out, that's it. No, don't, keep, keep it that way. Keep your hands that way. Palms facing up, that's it. Keep that palm facing up. Good, keep that palm facing up. Good. Good. Squeeze, one more. Good job, the other side. Good. Squeeze. Good. Squeeze. Good. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good. Perfect. Keep going. Two more, two more, two more. Two more. One more. Good job. Good. Good. We'll do one more set with that. So the key for that single arm is to be able to get that arm all the way back and almost locked so that you can work on that outer tricep because again, He's got great arms, very thick back, you know, the back of his triceps are very, very thick. We gotta work on that outer tricep. And what that's gonna do is, as you pull up, you're gonna create a little bit more of that width. So he's gonna create that more three-dimensional effect that you want on stage. Four, uh, good. As you're coming down, just make sure you're, you're really, that's it. Uh, you need to be doing these every tricep workout. You really do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can tell you don't do them, right? No. That's why you're only doing like barely a little bit any weight. Which is strong as hell as the other things. Focus on these. Uh, good. Good, come on, two more. Good, one more. One more, one more, one more, you got this, you got this. Come on, Devin. Good job, other side. Good. Okay. As you can see, he could be using a lot heavier weight, but the problem is he's not used to doing this exercise. He should be doing double this weight, but because the lack of use is keeping his body in terms of we like weakness, keeping his uh, you know, gains in terms of his tricep growth minimized because he's not doing the exercise enough. Next time we see him, this is gonna grow because he's gonna get stronger. Stronger muscle is a bigger muscle. Go. Good. Go. Uh, one more, one more, one more, one more. Come on. Good job, that's it. Awesome. So again, what I was just explaining was the fact that he, just from lack of use, he does not do any of those reverse grip tricep pushdowns, especially single arm. And that, because of that, he's got a little bit of a flat tricep when it comes to that outer head. So with focusing on that, getting stronger at that exercise, you're gonna see a much more developed outer tricep that's gonna give him that width that's so important, especially when you're competing. Right through here, keep your arm down, do your front relax. This is the area that he needs to work on the most. Massive biceps, wants, you know, really good triceps, but needs that outer tricep to be able to get that full, complete, developed look. Right through here. All right, so last exercise, what we're gonna do is this final FSC 7 set on doing the close grip presses. So what this is gonna do is we're not gonna go quite diamond. We're gonna keep it a little bit more, a little bit wider, and we're gonna focus on that outer tricep. We're gonna push out. Keep those elbows out, not in. We're gonna keep them out. There you go, go. Good, keep your back straight. Good, 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 
<sighs> Good. <sighs> Good. <sighs> Five. <sighs> four. Three. <sighs> two. Ooh, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Good. 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 One more. One more. One more. Go up. Hold it. Slow. Slow. Come down. Slow. 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 Perfect. Great job. Oh. Oh. All right. Reunited, and it feels so full. Feels like a hit leg day, bro. Not so good, but just <laughs> <laughs> feels like a hit leg day. You know what? We did a great FSD7 arm workout. Devin and I haven't worked out in over two and a half years together. Yeah. 30 pounds he's put on up in Canada. Nanook of the North. Yeah. Been putting on that size. That's an inside C bum joke yeah, yeah. From, uh, from Pittsburgh. But what we wanted to do is be able to just show you that you can do an amazing arm workout in three exercises for biceps, three exercises for tricep, FST7 exercises all thrown in there, mind muscle connection, and as great as his arms are, they could even be better. We're gonna work on that outer tricep. We're gonna work on making sure to get even more detail into those peaks and make sure that he grows the rest of his body into his amazing arms. How did it feel? Dude. Like I said, it feels like I trained just legs just now, man. <laughs> I got like a head rush, the whole the whole works right now, so. How do you like Texas so far? I like it, dude, it's hot. It's definitely not Canada. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even summer yet. Yeah. It's like yeah, only 85 yeah. degrees outside and he's already saying it's hot. Wait till it's 105. Yeah, it's good for the pump though. It gets the yeah. veins out. Yeah. The heat. <laughs> he's just like arms, <laughs> curls for the girls. Yeah. So guys, again, thank you guys for following the journey. We're gonna go do a podcast right now. We're gonna talk about a lot of different things. So check that out as well. Thanks for coming, brother. Yeah, thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, man. It's always absolutely. great to train ours with you. Yeah, dude. absolutely. Absolutely. Honey Rambod, Devin Bernardo, peace. Peace.